Grace and peace to all who do the will of our Father in heaven. Uh, let me mute this before I get an interruption. All right, so I'm just going to um, share some thoughts. Been in a a number of debates or arguments, and not, maybe not arguments, but back and forth on um, X lately. And I told myself I would just leave stuff alone and not get get not get into it. But the um, the stuff that I see is just it gets to the point where you, it's like okay I have to answer or respond to this person because what they're saying is a straight up lie or they're just saying uh, this is the way things are and that's it I said so and sometimes you just gotta you gotta re rebuff that or is that rebuff or is that uh, I don't know but you gotta respond to that and we're getting to the point now where there's not much time, though. At least that's what I, that's what I feel. I don't feel like there's a lot of time and a lot of uh, opportunity for people left to really humble themselves and see the truth, because America is on specifically European Americans are on a crash course. Uh, um, they are being led astray by their beliefs. They're being, and I, 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 let me add this, European American Christians. <laughs> okay, I got, that's important. They're being led astray uh, by things that they have never challenged. They have never asked questions on. So, of course, the topic lately was the, um, the icons, the Russian icons. And the fact that uh, they depict dark-skinned people. And so while many people came out to say that they were fake or they had darkened over time and this and that, some people were just still, no, the Jews are white. Or no, the Israelites were white. They were white and this and that. And then other people would say, no, they, were, they, were, they weren't white either. They were olive-skinned. And when you look up the picture of an olive-skinned person... It's a white person. <laughs> you know, that's all it is. It's a white person with a tan. <laughs> and, and and then you, as I asked the question before, well, if those if that's what olive skin is, what are these people now who are in the land of Israel now? Because they aren't olive skin. But uh, moving on. So, when those people come out and just say well this is the way it is it's really 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 easy to uh to pick pick it all apart because they're they're dogmatic they don't actually have evidence and proof they're just dogmatic about things they're dogmatic about how they were the um supreme race basically and that they are the Israelites they are the Jews they are this and they are that and it's easy to find the contradictions in their beliefs and one of the biggest problems that they have is Bible prophecy uh, not only not only the fact that they cannot fulfill any of the, uh, the prophecies in the Bible concerning Israel, concerning the people of Israel. And they cannot fulfill those. But the fact that them claiming to be Israelites right now contradicts what we are seeing happening in the world right now. Because if they were the Israelites, things would not be as they are. And things would not be as they have been. And it's really, really easy to to pick these things apart, and, they, and like again, they're dogmatic. They have their um, eschatology, and, and, and because it's so out of place with reality, they have to say things like the thousand year reign has already happened. Jesus Christ has already been ruling and reigning for a thousand years, but he's been doing it in heaven. That's all malarkey. 
because he said himself that Israel was going to go into captivity. Therefore, Israel was under the curses of the law. They were under the curses. And nothing that they can point to shows that they have been under the curses since 70 AD. <clears throat> and for them to say that prophecy has been fulfilled or is about to be fulfilled and they're going to either they have returned to the homeland or that they will return to the homeland, you still cannot fulfill the prophecies of being in the condition that the Bible says Israel is supposed to be in. And what trips me out, though, is that um, when we do what the Bible says we're going to do and call the curses to mind among the nations where he has driven us, where we've been led away captives to, <laughs> when we do that, you have people, these so-called Irish people coming out of nowhere like, well, we were, we were slaves too. So if anybody should get reparations, it should be us first. Knowing they were indentured servants and then they were compensated for their service. Let me see what time it is. I'm probably actually uh, due to get back to work now. But uh, <clears throat> uh, let me see what time it is. Sorry. So, yeah, they were compensated. Yeah, it is time for me to go. And they, and not only that, but they were, they were given help to catch up. This is why they are not, and they were not sabotaged throughout history or sabotaged throughout their entire time in this country, the way African Americans were or Israelites were. And so when they, I mean, but what it shows is that when you tell them that people will go out of your way to sabotage you and stand in the way, they can deny that, but then they are actually proving your point by getting in your way saying that you shouldn't get reparations because they didn't get reparations or their old reparations, even though, like I said, pointed out, they were reimbursed and, uh, reimbursed and they were just indentured servants, not chattel slaves. But again, they are weaponizing their history to try and stand in your way or sabotage you from getting what is rightfully owed to you. So my whole thing is, if you feel you are owed something by somebody else, go to them and get it. Why are you here in our spaces, in our conversation, telling us that we can't get anything because either you didn't get something or you should get it first? You're doing nothing but standing in the way and sabotaging, proving the point that this is all people have done instead of giving what is owed and doing right by those people who they had led into captivity and who has been in captivity and afflicted for 400 years, instead of doing right by them, they would rather just stand in the way, close their hands, refuse to help, gaslight you, put you down, tell you you're nothing, tell you nobody. That racism is running rampant on Twitter right now. You got people, they can say anything against you. You're going to be back to picking cotton, calling you monkeys, calling this other stuff. But don't you dare talk about those other people over there who are claiming to be Jews right now. Don't you dare talk about them. So while they're talking about how the world is against them and this and that and they're fulfilling prophecy, it's actually demonstrably against African-Americans. And it's people's own bias that they refuse to see that and so these clips are this eclipse is coming up and I'm finally getting around to this and that eclipse is, is for what as far as if you were looking um in israelite spaces we are looking at it and saying this is a sign our captivity is ending and our redemption is drawing nigh However, when you look at spaces outside of Israelite spaces, you see people saying this is judgment and they are right. <laughs> it is judgment. We're looking at it from two different perspectives. Israelites are happy and outsiders are looking at it with fear as they should be. But here's another thing. If, you, if they are the Israelites, then why are they looking forward to it with fear? Why are they not looking at it as their redemption is drawing out? Because they're not being redeemed from anything. They don't know what redemption means. They don't know what it means because they haven't been the people who have been at the bottom. 
They haven't been the people for the last 400 years who have been um, oppressed. Even though now they're talking about anti-white racism and stuff like that, they're trying to gaslight you into believing that the world is um, somehow oppressing them and against them, but they refuse to acknowledge their part and what they did to African Americans. So how can you accuse African Americans of being anti-white when you refuse to atone for your sins against them, for your sins against their ancestors? You can't accuse them of being anti-white. They ha they have a right to be defensive against you, being defensive towards you. It is well within our right to protect them for them to protect themselves. You're talking about anti-white. No, they are protecting themselves. That's what they're doing. So anyway, I got to bring this to a close. Um, thank you all for listening. To those who do the will of our Father in heaven, may our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, bless you.